In this video, we're going to go through some of the tools Element has to really customize the pricing of an estimate. We'll take a look at some options for both uh, standard and service estimates. So let's open up a standard estimate here and let's look at some of the tools you can use to tweak your prices. The first tool is the most basic. You can open up a work area and then you can make your changes right here. So for example, I could change my unit cost if I'm getting something cheaper at a vendor. I can force my unit price to a very specific price by clicking the green pencil and changing my price here. Now don't forget the prices here are calculated from your estimating catalog. So these are the prices that are designed to A, recover all your overhead and B, hit the sales goal you put together in your budget. But that doesn't stop you from necessarily making a change on an estimate by estimate basis. So if I wanted to change, for example, the cost of this brick sand, because I know at this vendor I'm going to have to pay $27 for it, I'm going to change it to $27. Now when I change it to $27, it's going to automatically update my unit price to keep it in sync with the budget, but I also have the ability to override that unit price here as well by clicking the green pencil. Now the other opportunity you have to override the price is not the price itself, but you could actually override the profit. You can see I've done that here for my disposal bin. If I wanted to get this crew back to a 9.7% profit, one thing I could do is hit the pencil and say 9.7% and then it'll get the unit price back to where it is. If you want to undo a price that you've customized. So for example here, I customized the brick sands unit price. If I want to undo that and just set it back to the budget default, just click this undo arrow here and it goes back to the budget default pricing. So whatever the profit margin is, or whatever this item's actually been set at in your estimating catalog, that's the default price it's gonna use here. There's another handy tool to go back to default prices, and it's a new tool for our new estimating, and it's here called Refresh Pricing. Now, the first thing you need to remember is it cannot refresh pricing. So if you get this little no sign, it can't refresh pricing until you've saved all your changes. So save your changes first, then you'll be able to click this Refresh Pricing. What this is going to do, refresh pricing, is it's going to go back to your estimating catalog and recalculate all your costs and prices based on the current values in the estimating catalog. So you click OK and it goes back through and sets everything back to the way it is in your catalog. Why this button would come in handy is, is um, especially on an estimate where maybe we did it last year for the client, they didn't close, then they come back to us next spring and they say, hey, we'd like to go ahead. Before I go ahead with that estimate, I probably want to refresh my pricing to make sure that my new prices for this year are including all the changes that I made over the winter, et cetera, from you know, nurseries changing their material prices or aggregate suppliers changing their material prices. Refresh pricing will go take a snapshot of all these items as they are right now in your estimating catalog and re-enter or reset the costs and the prices accordingly. So it's a quick and easy way to refresh an entire estimate's pricing back to what it should be, especially handy for updating old estimates. So that's two ways, the slow way where we can go item by item, uh, a way to refresh pricing across the entire bid. The other things we can do is use the edit menu. So I'm gonna close this driveway paver now and I'm gonna hit the drop down, and I can now override the price or override the profit. On service estimates, maintenance estimates, you can do all these same things. The only difference you're gonna see here is override a per visit price and override a seasonal price. But in standard estimates, we don't have seasonal, so we don't see that option here. But you can override the price and profit. So here's two examples. This driveway right now is 17, or let's use the lighting, for example. The lighting is $4,363. If I wanted to just get this to 5,000, what I can do is say override price, change that to 5,000, and it will proportionately update all the prices in my lighting to come up with a number as close as it can to 5,000. Now, I covered this in one of the other videos, but I'll do it again here because it does affect customizing pricing. This one isn't a perfect 5,000. It's a little short. If you're going for a perfect 5,000, you might be frustrated. Now, all LMN is doing is saying, I've got a quantity. I've got a unit price. Rounding all these things to the two decimal places, I can't get to 5,000. It just doesn't work that way. What I need to do right here is add 8 cents of something to get it to where you want it to get to, which is the round number. So here's another way to customize your price. You can create an other item in your estimating catalog called rounding factor. Now make sure your rounding factor in your estimating catalog is set to a zero cost and is set to a zero profit margin. That's really important because we don't want to add profit on a rounding factor. 
or else we'll never get to that even price again. So to add this into my estimate, I click the rounding factor. I'm going to close this back down. And then I'm going to scroll down here. And right now it says 1 at $0. I need to add $0.08 cents to get this to a round number. So I'm going to add $0.08. Cents. Now the zero profit margin makes sure that there's no markup on this. So it's a clean and even $0.08. Cents. That gets me to my 5000 Now I get my next round number. So a rounding factor is an other item, is another way to customize prices. It can be really handy if you're trying to get to a perfectly round number. The other option I've got here that sort of showed and haven't showed yet is the ability to override profit. So if I don't want necessarily a fixed price, but I do want to make 30% profit on the lighting, then what I can do is go to the lighting, hit override profit, and say we want a 30% profit margin. And when I hit OK, it'll reprice every, the items, all of them in there, at a 30% 30, uh, 30 profit margin and come up with the price I need to charge to make 30%. So those are the ways to uh, manually or quickly adjust your pricing. You can do it item by item. You can use the edit buttons or the undo buttons here to quickly change pricing. You can refresh pricing from your catalog and you can override a price or override a profit margin for an entire work area.